Our lives are being rapidly changed by the development of large computing machines. This cyber threat is one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. This country is completely under attack 24-7. In the real world, if someone wants to hurt you, they can just walk up to you on the street and shoot you. It's the same online. If someone wants to hurt you or steal your private information, they're probably going to get it. There's nothing you can do to protect yourself. Hackers victimize every single person as their actions force us to spend money to defend ourselves. A computer hacker is actually a good thing. They find exploits, they make them, they create them, they write them, and they release them. It forces the vendors into fixing whatever they've designed. It's basically good and evil. They need each other to exist. If someone is doing nefarious things and using the internet as a medium to do that, that's where I come in. If you cut me off in your car, in a few minutes, I could call you on your mobile phone and recite your social security number. No one's talking about the individual. And with the advent of computers, and more importantly, computer socialization, all the technological trends that are affecting us, things like Facebook and Twitter, are enabling massive invasions of privacy. For the first time in our species' existence, we need to define a privacy policy. Companies have interest in collecting information about you, and it's cheap and easy for the government to get a hold of it. There are not only governmental data banks, there are private data banks. As we move around with our mobile phones, we move from cell tower to cell tower. And these records can be used later to figure out where you were at any given moment in time. The leaders of our country understand the threats that we face, but the war fighting community does not have as large a role in cyberspace, and it has to do with money and power and bureaucracy. Cyber is your cell phone connected to your PC, connected to the grid, to the traffic light, yeah, traffic connected to the power station, the nuclear weapons, you have this. massive connection everywhere, no boundaries. Millions of Americans have been victimized. Their privacy violated, their identities stolen, their lives upended, and their wallets empty. Data storage is cheap. Records are being kept. It'll be around forever. How does that change your behavior if everything you've ever done is recorded somewhere?